Arsenal Fan TV here at Sutton United with the chairman of Sutton United, Bruce Elliott. Bruce, it's going to be an amazing day on Monday when Arsenal come down here. I mean, what, what, what was your reaction um, to the draw when, when Arsenal came out of that? Similar to yours, I think, Robbie, actually, <laughs> um, having watched your reaction to it. Um, I was here watching the draw um, with lots of supporters, lots of our volunteers, and uh, that was another special moment in our FA Cup run this year. Um, it was just unbelievable scenes and the fact that we are able to welcome a club such as Arsenal to our small part-time non-league football club is just something very, very special for us and we're immensely looking forward to Monday and uh, we're doing our level best to make sure that everybody from Arsenal who's here, from directors to supporters, are going to enjoy the experience, whatever happens on the pitch. Mm. And listen, you've got an amazing setup here. I mean, the pitch, first of all. The, um, t tell us about the pitch, because I, I notice a lot of uh, non-league clubs nowadays are opting for these sort of 3G, 4G pitches. Yes, it was a decision uh, that was prompted by Paul Doswell, our manager, about 18 months ago, or probably two years ago, when we first started talking about a 3G. Uh, we had a very, very old grass pitch here. Uh, we'd gone for six, seven weeks in the two previous seasons without anything happening on this pitch at all. Um, we'd been trying very hard to be a, a community club, uh, which was proving very difficult with the grass pitch. So um, Paul very kindly, as is well documented, lent us the money to, uh, to, to put this 3G surface down. And I keep telling everybody, I think for a club of our size, in our position, uh, I keep telling everybody that I think it will be the best thing we've ever done as a football club. And I think today has illustrated it that, you know, we've had a wonderful media day today here um, with the first team and all the media on one half of the pitch. And on the other half of the pitch, as you can see for yourself, is kids mm. coaching and thoroughly enjoying themselves. And um, that, that's really helped us to bring the whole club and, and, and the whole town of Sutton together. Mm. What's the difference between running a club like Sutton United, non-league club, and running like an Arsenal? I mean, I, you know, obviously it's a much bigger machine, Arsenal, but, you know, the difference in running a club like this. Because I can see that the community are really involved here. Yes, and, and look, this is, is, again, well documented that um, this club is run by volunteers. And, and that's probably the biggest difference. We have only three full-time employees uh, to managing the 3G pitch and our bar manager, our bar steward. Um, other than that, this club is run entirely by volunteers and I suspect that's the biggest difference, which is why it's been an unbelievable task for everybody at this football club to uh, get involved and make sure the whole cup run, not just the Arsenal game, but all the games before it, have gone as smoothly as they have and we're very lucky to have so many volunteers and the visit of Arsenal on Monday is a wonderful way of them being thanked for all their involvement mm. over many many years. Mm. Now I was going to ask you now would you have liked when the draw happened for it to have been at the Emirates instead of here at Sutton United because uh, there was talk that you know you would have got a load more money if you'd have done it at the Emirates except he's got a big smile on his face now or are you glad in a way that it's actually here because you'll still do all right and plus as well it's going to be something amazing for the history of this club um the integrity of the fa cup is quite important the football association have been hugely supportive to us from the moment the draw was made mm. the answer to your question is um not one of my colleagues said to me you know, is there a chance of changing it or I wish we'd been drawn away? There have been a few times in the last few weeks where probably um, the workload has probably meant that maybe we have thought secretly that maybe it would have been nice to have been away. And, um, you know, yes, how good that would have been. But overall, I'm delighted that it's here. Um, it's been an opportunity to show off our small non-league football club um, and on Monday it will be shown to the world uh, what we've got here and we're very proud of what we've got here in our own small way 
and at the end of the day, um, yeah, how good is that for the people of Sutton, all our supporters, all our volunteers, that they're actually going to see a team like Arsenal on, on this pitch. Mm. The capacity here, what is it? 5,013 to mm. be precise. And how many Arsenal fans got tickets? I think it's 752. Mm. It's amazing, it's amazing. I mean, I, I, I had to grovel for a ticket to get a ticket here. But listen, it's, it's absolutely amazing. There's so much work still going on. I can see over there they're building, I heard that's going to be for BBC where they're building yep. that. That's where Gary Lineker and those guys will sit. That's right, absolutely, yeah. Mm. Yeah, there's a few things still to be done before Monday. But, um, you know, how good is this? And, mm. and I'm just delighted today has, sh has enabled us, even before Monday, to, mm. to show off you know, we think it's a special football club mm. at our own level and we're very conscious that, you know, we're a non-league part-time mm. football club. Mm. But how good is it to welcome the Arsenal sides here today? Mm. I think, is it the under nines yep. here today? Um, and, you know, how good is that? And what mm. a great relationship, uh, the two clubs. I mean, Arsenal brought a team to us pre-season a couple of years ago um, and they were excellent then. And um, I think it's so good that mm. our disability side, run by Steve King, has had already, in advance of the FA Cup draw, had already fostered an excellent relationship with Arsenal. Mm. And they've had a couple of matches, I believe, between the clubs. Mm. And, um, you know, I, I hope that maybe Arsenal will um, enjoy the occasion on Monday. Mm. It doesn't matter what happens on the pitch. It's all about us being able to show off and, and try and do things properly and make sure they're all made welcome and that everybody enjoys what I think will be a very special occasion. Well, thank you very much. One last thing, I don't, there's one thing I don't want you to change. I see all this work going on, but I was over in Bayern Munich the other night and after our crushing 5-1 defeat, please don't change your change rooms, right? I want them to stay the same, exactly the same as I see them there for the players when they come here on Monday. That is going to be a real culture shock for them. <laughs> well, they are what they are. <laughs> I, I love them. <laughs> I don't think there's much we can do to change them now. Um, but, you know, the, the, I, I'm sure they'll be looked after. And, mm. and, and what this club is about, as you've probably already gathered, is not so much the size of the changing rooms, but it's all about the people. And it's the people involved that make this a very, very special place. And, um, you know, I'm very proud to be chairman of this football club.